Hey guys, Kongra here, and today we are taking a look at the, or playing, should I say, WZ111GFT, tier 9, Chinese tank destroyer. And I'm not sure why I'm grinding this tank, because the tier 10 doesn't really get any better. It's not really an upgrade. Uh, you're better off just with the tier 9, honestly. Um, but I'm grinding it anyway, so yeah, here it is. And you guys have been enjoying the more epic replays we've been having. Or, well, the, the bigger games, the bigger clutches and such on the, on the on the channel. And I don't control when I clutch a game. So, I mean, if we have a few in a row, I mean, that's just a treat, right? That's just a treat. Um, but yesterday's was quite interesting. It was quite interesting, you know, just finding out who the snowflakes are on the channel. Um, and so on and so forth. And typically, uh, you're not supposed to get mad at your audience or anything like that. But since you guys are allowed to tell me all the time when I'm wrong and I appreciate that you're like no so no clone guy you can't do this you're like you're right it's really nice you guys keep me accountable I'm gonna keep you guys accountable as well I'm not all of you but about 20% of you which is kind of a huge number uh, I went re yesterday uh, with the video when I was playing in a game mode that does not count towards stats that is designed for memeing that is designed for having fun that doesn't do anything if you win um, that doesn't count towards anything at all and it's just here to be remembered and played where I decided to use my jumping ability to try to climb some houses and it wound up getting me in um, inside in between some houses then getting stuck there and then clutching the game <laughs> and we're like hey, I can't believe you you that did that clone I can't believe you decided to try something new to have fun yeah you're such a terrible person I'm unsubscribing from you I'm like okay bye good riddance <laughs> goodbye I actually lost subscribers yesterday which was quite interesting um, uh, but my point, my point is, is you guys need to be, you just need to be careful because that's, you're sounding exactly like the media does and such, where they take anything they can find and they turn, make a negative spin out of it. Even though what we were doing yesterday was, is we were taking a mode and trying to make it more fun. So I'm very disappointed in a lot of you. Most of you were fine. Of course, you know who you are if you're the idiot out there. Um, well, actually you probably don't. It's uh, actually, believe it or not. It's harder to convince somebody. It's easier to fool someone than it is to convince convince somebody they're being fooled, and that's that's just unfortunate right now. Uh, but that's it. That's my little spiel of the day. Uh, we're in the WZ111 GFT Tier Nine Chinese Boom Cannon, I guess. This thing has a huge gun, a 152.8 millimeter gun with um through 295, 298, 290, 290 pen, 290 pen, something around there. And 395 heat pen at tier 9. We get pen by Chrysler K because we went belly side up, but uh, that's gonna be it for him. We're gonna kill him dead out of the game. Why we shot him over the machine was just because I wanted to get a kill. Uh, obviously, the Chrysler kind of isn't a threat, but we shot him anyway. So, there, get out of here. Here comes the machine. We're gonna try to put a shell into him. Right, like that. There we go. And we track him as well. Boom. He's gonna put two three and he did fire one earlier so it looks like yeah he didn't he didn't cycle this magazine so that's it all right we're down to 900 health and our team is uh, is is losing a little bit but not by much we do not have map control though hello boom 687 to his capola no problem and come on a meal two come on a meal two uh, i think that was his last shot and he bounced it no does he have more no this guy's getting already it must be, uh, must be unfortunate getting already really. Somebody bounces off his cupola, but auto-loading, bat chat, artillery finishes him off. And he goes down, uh, but we're still losing. And I blocked the shell right there. Uh, my apologies. My, my humblest apologies. Um, I'm a big tank, and I have no turret, so sometimes uh, it can be awkward. But uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and shoot this guy because um, our meal is behind us, and hopefully he can finish him. Hopefully. Perhaps. Oh. Now he can't. There's another machine. Two machines. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and, uh, so, all right, so, okay, hello. Hmm, good player by, uh, good play by that machine. Here comes a hard case now. He's going to be trying to flank us. Um, but and he's good, in a good position to flank us because we have no way of actually putting a wall between us and him because just this slope angling behind us. So now we're going to put a shell into this guy. Boom, fire enough. There we go. And we're going to use this uh, machine, hopefully, to get away. He's going to put another shell into us, of course, and that's fine. Now we're going to use this machine as cover as we kind of turn around. And he's going to be facing us. So as soon as we get the armor around, he's just like, oh, wait a minute. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, well, I have a lower plate, but if you're not going to do that, I'm going to shoot you in the uh, ammo rack. And so he's like, yeah, okay. And he dies. That's that. We're going to turn back around, 
for this SU in just a sec, but we've also got this Patton, and yeah, he, our tank destroyer is shouting, shouting for help. That help, that Patton just needs to poke up and shoot me. So I was a little bit wary of him, but now that it looks like he's likely not going to be uh, paying attention to me, I'm going to be turning around for this SU. Um, another free tank, which means the players are very high caliber players. And he dies. <laughs> so he's gone. And we're up to 5,800 damage. And suddenly our team is winning if you count artillery. It's like, oh, look at that. This is suddenly possible. But let me tell you something. We may carry this game. Or we may be carrying this game. But sometimes you can't. You just can't do enough. And you require some very special teammates and some very special enemies to actually pull it off. And quite often that's the case. And it makes you wonder, how did these, how did these teammates and how did these enemies actually um, make it survive to the end of the game? Honestly, it, it just doesn't even make sense. But, you know, that's the case. That's where the tank's for you. It's like, what? How, how are you alive, sir? How are you capable of breathing? It's interesting. But we're setting up behind us just to make sure no one comes from here. Because there's still three tanks that are unaccounted for. We have that Patton who is sitting there. Now there's a light tank behind us. And it's like, okay. But there's still a Centurion and a Type 59 somewhere. And if they come up behind, I'm just dead. And we have those two tank destroyers kind of as our rear guard. So we should be okay. So I'll be their rear guard as well. And uh, we'll have both, both revenues locked down. That's the plan anyway. It's a plan. But now that we're not seeing anything, I really don't want to wait any, any longer. WZ goes down. He's the light tank. And he's dead. So now I've decided, okay, let's let's see what we can do here. Let's see if I can find that Type 59 and kill him. Because I have a feeling if they haven't pushed yet, they're not pushing. So they might be set up somewhere and waiting for me to... Or waiting for... They might be set up somewhere and waiting for shots themselves. So I might be able to maybe, with my optics, spot somebody out and just kill them. Get them out of the game. Uh, will I die? Maybe. But that's the plan I've decided to go with. And oh, there's the... There's a 7-1. Oh boy. Dang it. We gotta turn back around. With our tick. It's a tick tank. The tick tank. It looks like a tick. It looks like if you were just like, bend this thing forward. It would be like sucking the ground of blood. And it would be filling up and getting fatter and fatter. As you upgrade your tank from the tier 6, then to the tier 7, then to the tier 8, then to the tier 9. Finally the tier 10, which is just full of blood and ready to explode with children. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's what, that's what this line is. Is, is that... But here's the Centurion. Will we have a shot on him? As long as the clone guy isn't bad. Clone guy is bad. He over he underleads it. That's that's a blow. That's a big blow. Ow. We really, really, really needed that. But there's a whew, Type 59. We pull back just in time. He hits us in our upper plate, and he does no damage to us. That was kind of sketchy. I thought about just, you know, taking the hit from him, but then I'm like, no, my lower plate will be exposed. Let's just pull back, and then he hits our angled upper plate, and he was firing heat, so... He he probably would have had, like, a 20% chance of hitting our lower plate if we had shot him, but still, those aren't odds you really want to take in this situation. You know, your gun is more powerful than his, you have more armor than him. Just wait for your shot, and then and then punish him. So that's what we're going to do. It's, it's virtually a three versus two. Yes, there's artillery, but now at this point, Artie is almost useless. It just depends. If the enemy team pushes the artillery right now, maybe we can get some shots. And if they push us, maybe Artie can get some shots. But it's if they sp spread out, it's going to be really, really difficult to do anything. Um, luckily, the enemy team seems to be fixated on owning our cap circle and doesn't know how to flank. Or use the fact that they are mobile mediums and have turrets. And, and, you know, a little bit of speed. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, there's a Type 59, or Centurion, who's going after the uh, the artillery. Artillery does put a shell into him, leaving him on a one-shot. But we're uh, pulling a who's got spotted. There we go. Oh, the Artie is unable to kill him with his magazine. I was banking on the fact that he would have. Uh, but he, his last splash was, like, for 20 damage or something. So, unfortunately, he does not. And there's a Patton in front of us. Patton fired. Could I have poked around to shoot him? Maybe. But that Centurion is about to get hauled down. If I poke around to shoot that Patton, the Centurion's going to kill me. So I've decided to pull back again. And hope my Waffle, who has plenty of health, you know, starts doing something in this game. But remember how, what I mentioned about, you know, teammates. Good good players. Don't worry, the enemy team is... Is worse. They are. They are worse. 
So get ready for it. Brace, brace yourselves. Get ready for pain. Pain in your soul. Hello there. Finish him off. Here comes the Patton. He's gonna come around the corner before we're loaded. Can we get him to bounce a shot? Can my uh, waffle shoot him? He's just sitting there. No, my waffle doesn't want to shoot him. Here comes the Patton. Ah, he pens us down. We go down, unfortunately. He just barely... I'm not sure why our, our, our waffle pulled back and didn't, you know, shoot him. He had to cross in front of the waffle gun to get to me. Um, but now we see why this guy is driving around backwards. Is uh, what he's doing. And now... Okay. How, how on earth is he going to pull this one off? Is what you have to ask yourself. Oh, I guess you could do that. That's one way. And here comes the Centurion. The Centurion misses! Now the Centurion needs to pull back and get hauled down. Okay, never mind. He's just going to charge. And we win the game! <laughs> there we go! All part of the plan! <laughs> All part of the plan. Um, the Waffle was in a position to shoot the, the, the Patton when he crossed. Didn't. Which is, you know what? Whatever. Fine. That's... That's what he did. Maybe he knew something we didn't know. But there's an ace tanker in the tank. <laughs> the enemy team. How did you survive that long, enemy team? How were your top three players? Probably three of the worst players in the game? I don't know. Then I'm looking at our top three players, and I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to be the replay. hope you all enjoyed. If you did, snap that like button. Comment, subscribe, World of Tanks. You get something different every day. Right? Um, so you can obviously be upset that I sh uh, showed a replay where there were dumb people in it Or you can just accept it and be like, hey, he was just showing another replay during his time playing the game And that's what I've been doing Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Slap that like button, comment, subscribe, and go check out Space Minute Link in the description below, and I'll see you all later Take care, and peace out